return the favor for once! <laughs> You're too weak to get control back, aren't you? I'm gonna have to punch you out myself! <laughs> Gotta make my move! No wonder your family left you! You're not strong enough! You're being a prick here! This <clears throat> you! And you know it! <clears throat> Seriously? That tail is taking evolution way too far! You can't do this for Oh, man. You. you remember him? 
We won't do honestly. He's dying, Doc. I can't lose him. You're the only one who can help him. Please, 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 please. He needs the suit. <sighs> Pins him down with thick tendrils. Hold up. Another tendril prize. Dog on guards. Parallel to another build. Peter jabs the antidote. Watch your time. The metal grating breaks and they tumble into deep water. Oh fuck. Peter slams into a pipe. Connor's claws relax as he sinks into a shadow. Peter searches the water as debris sinks past. He spots the now human Connors, naked and floating unconscious. Peter swims toward him. He clutches the listless Connors about the waist and swims for the surface. Connors' head lulls and his eyes remain closed. Connors awakens on a couch in his underground lab wearing only pants. He eases, he eases himself, himself up, up, then jumps, jumps when Peter, Peter dangles, dangles into view. Into view. Peter, Peter offers, offers a clean shirt, shirt with his black tendrils. tendrils. Connors, Connors hesitantly accepts the shirt. the shirt. Where did you Where get, did get that? that? Harry Osborne. Harry Osborne. He, he said he you said designed it. Design. Come with me. Connors, Connors leads, leads Peter toward the robotic arm from earlier. Vacuum is open to offer the same jagged black rock. Connors, Connors picks it up and waves it near Peter. Peter. Peter convulses. It's just as I thought. The tendrils shoot toward the rock. The eyes of Peter's suit widen. Flashback. In a moonlit forest, an amorphous black mass of tendrils wriggles from an impact crater. Norman leads an Oscorp squad. It's over here. Whoa, 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 back off. I'm going in for a closer look. Connors runs up. It's okay. It's okay. He kneels. With his intact right arm, Connors reaches toward the mass. A tendril ensnares his wrist. Two Oscorp operatives try to pull him free. Another aims his rifle. Norman nods. The guard presses the muzzle to Connor's arm. Back in the lab, Peter's tendrils retract. What is this thing? Peter trembles. Connor's places the rod back on the robotic arm. It's a fragment of a meteorite that landed outside the city years ago. It's where we found it out. He gestures toward Peter. And where are you? An alien. We call it a symbiote. It, it bonds at a subcellular level with its host. Uh, in our case, Harry Osborne. He gave it to you? Not exactly. I was hurt, and it chose you. Connors fixes Peter with a shrewd gaze. Which means it's more dangerous than I could have imagined. We need, we need to call, to call Oscorp. Oscorp. We, we need, need to destroy, to destroy it. it. Destroy, destroy us? us. Connors, Connors picks, up picks up a phone, phone then stares, stares at Peter. At Peter. A tendril snatches, snatches the phone from Connors' hand. hand. You said you it said chose, chose me. me. God, God. Connors, Connors flinches, flinches away from Peter. Peter. It makes me it makes a better spider. Peter advances, Peter advances on Connors, who stumbles and falls. He cowers on the ground. When Connor sits up, Peter is gone. Peter swims out of an open manhole cover and through the city. A nearby hunter holds up a radio. 
Eyes on the target. Pursuing. She wears, she wears a, quiver a quiver of arrows on her back. Peter swings past rooftops and lands on an overlap. MJ, <gasps> I'm glad you called. How you doing? Good. Storing some more boxes at the house. I just checked on Harry. But how, how are you? I saw the news about the lizard chase. I'm great. Connors is cured. The suit's still going strong, and apparently it's called a symbiote. Oh, and, uh, it's an alien. Which is pretty nuts, right? Wait, what? You don't sound concerned. I'm a little concerned, but I also couldn't have stopped Connors without it. Peter, the two of you tore through half the city. Like, did you see what you did to the museum? I'm honestly surprised nobody got killed. I'm not. And you know I had to cure him somehow. I mean, should I have just let him keep destroying things on his own? That's not the... I want to work here for the rest of the night. My muse for a new Jonah Proof article is finally struck. Congratulations! I'll show you if you come back later. What's gotten into her? Must be deadline stress. Some alone time should help. So in the meantime, let's see who we can help out here. Prefer needs help? My people. Watch out! You want to burn something? Try me! Got the fire for you! You have fire in you! Sonic Burst Need to put out the fires. Sonic burst the fire department can wrap things up. Got combos, pretty good. Kind of reminds me of the gravity well to web bomb combo from the original uh, Spider Man Insomniac game. They just lifted everybody up in the gravity well, fell down, and they were stuck on their backs. You still have the web bomb on one of them in the middle. It hits everybody, and they all get wiped. Oh, that's what's up here, or what's down here. Promotion at the fish market, folks. Involving a lizard. He's back. I was really hoping that was one big bad who was firmly in the rear. But lucky as ever that our two Spider-Men were on site to save the day. Spider-Man the Younger pulled some impressive water acrobatics along the way. Spider-Man the Older... Get ready, Spider-Man! Here we come! You're doing something so different? You wanna steal? This is what you get! Time to get looters in their pooters. Oh. Slide no crusher. Tell all your friends. There's a new Spidey in town. Partly because it's a reference to M. Bison's skin to give some alone time, but I'm beat. Time to head home for a little rest. Wonder what she decided. And because I literally crushed a few psychopath criminals. to wash the sheets at the house again. What spider suit would make the best pajamas? I can honestly be a separate video all to itself. This seems comfy. Uh, casual wear? No. Who the hell goes to sleep in a hoodie? It's like wearing jeans when you fall asleep. And that wears jeans when he goes to sleep, and I literally can't fucking understand that. Like, I don't know someone can do that. Jeans are so freaking uncomfortable. I completely prefer uh, shorts to jeans. Or sweatpants, they're so much comfier.
There you go. No zipper here, but the belt could be an issue. Metal. Oh. I don't even know what that is. But I did get this outfit for a teddy bear, and the version that I got was all soft and fluffy. Because it was literally made to be worn by a teddy bear, so, like... I mean, I guess... What was it again? Yeah. Blowing web shooters. Fuck yeah. Spider-Man around town in 
one of the most pathetic displays of heroism I've ever witnessed. Was it heroic to destroy priceless artifacts in a museum? Was it heroic to demolish city blocks, damaging infrastructure, and costing taxpayers millions? What about the dozens of law enforcement officers injured trying to solve a problem Spider-Man created? Of course, he wasn't alone in this monopoly of powerlessness. The hunters continue to run roughshod, unchecked and unheeded. The level of devastation brought upon the denizens of this fair city is too much to bear. We've had enough. When will our elected officials step up and do their jobs? We can't keep waiting. By then, it will be too late. Congrats! You boys hit the jackpot! It doesn't matter. We gotta win! These webs are too strong! <laughs> I see any of you again, I won't be so nice. Of his dark bedroom and another, rolls exhaustedly uh, onto his bed. Another empty entrance and gestures to the open laptop beside him. That's the story I was telling you about. I wanted to get your thoughts on it. MJ, can't wait to read it. Peter lays back and shuts his eyes. Wait, wait. You're still in a suit. I thought Connor was going to help you get it off. What about Harry? Sorry, I can't do this tomorrow. Just so big from Lizard Ray. MJ, MJ takes, takes the laptop, the laptop and, crosses and crosses the bedroom. The bedroom. She, sets she sets it down, it down on a down desk under a bright light. light. MJ, MJ glances, glances over at Peter, now asleep. She, she notices the suit's tendrils sliding, sliding over him. They retract. They retract. You didn't describe what they MJ did. MJ hurries to a window and looks out into the night. Hunters, Hunters brandish crossbows, crossbows and head up the driveway. Up the driveway. MJ looks, MJ looks to Peter's, Peter's bed, bed, but Peter is gone. gone. She grabs a stun gun from a bookshelf. through the basement door and closes it behind her. Okay. Pete's workbench. I dreaded replaying this mission. Web shooters. Perfect. She attaches a web shooter to the stun gun. An arrow whizzes past her head. She turns and aims at a hunter. She kicks the hunter to his knees, then saps his neck. She boots his unconscious body to the floor, then turns toward a window. 
MJ climbs through the window, emerging beside the house in a downpour. Armed hunters march up the driveway toward the front door of Peter's house. MJ texts Miles help and hides behind a set of garbage cans. A hunter spots her and aims his crossbow. Thick, dark, tentacle-like appendages throw him across the street. The appendages belong to Peter in the symbiote suit. He slams the hunter onto an APC and crouches over his body. It's him! Peter leaps to a rooftop. Peter? MJ stiffens up as she watches Peter fall out of view. Peter's still asleep. I have to get past these hunters to find Pete. If I don't find Pete before they do. Anyone into an open garage, shutting the door softly behind herself. A hunter is turned around. MJ sneaks forward, but a neighbor appears in a window. What the hell's going on out there? Naughty. Naughty bear. The hunter turns and aims. Peter slams down, knocking the hunter out. Get inside. Stay quiet. He's heading for the construction area. Peter bounds away. How is this screaming not woken her up? I woke him up yet. Head in that new construction. I must be watching too many Hollywood movies. I just missed Ken and Peter Parker. Listen up. The spider's not alone. That damn woman from the zoo is helping him. She took out everyone. Ooh, right out of reputation. Oh, no. The spider. Huh? Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, I might as well. behind a pile of construction supplies. Ahead, Peter's symbiote arm launches a hunter from a second story window. How do I get to that house? Good. Assassin's Creed guards. No. I disagree, asshole. I disagree, bitch.
as I'm in the stealth section of the game, really just really, really need to focus. The wizard will do the rooting. A hunter grabs them. I can fool just yell that I'm not even playing it as the hunter and stuff. MJ presses her What's hand this to her face? head and winces. Peter, I'm not I need playing to Peter, and under the symbiote's control, drags an unconscious hunter using tendrils from his arm. He stares at MJ, who looks back with wide, terrified eyes. Peter that could not be less Peter MJ right now. Phone to her ear. Miles, look up. Miles clings to a house. Go after him. Miles swings after Peter. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. What the hell's going on with Pete? <sighs> I think it has something to do with that suit. It, it's just a spider totem. An it's an alien. What? But you can play as a clone for a round. Just help him, Miles. Please. Yes. Come on it, MJ. I remember the guy from Toronto called Profiles. Overlooking Peter as he ferociously fights off a crowd of hunters. Spider-Man! It's me! Peter uses his symbiote arm to hurl a manhole cover at Miles, who flips out of his way. Oh, I can run over him first. Peter, throw a manhole cover at me! Webs the top of the tunnel and pulls. MJ spins inside as it collapses behind her. Inside the tunnel, debris rains on MJ, causing her motorcycle to topple over and Ooh, her anime the drift. pavement, skidding along the rough surface. I think it's called Akira. Like I know that helmet's more dented okay? up. Yeah. Tunnel closed. Yes. Know. He did close the tunnel. Her 
stun gun. She steps gingerly along a dimly lit maintenance area. Twisted rebar protrudes Red blue. from the floor. Red Spidey sense colors in Spidey verse. Peter leaps out from behind a shelf. Spidey verse. NJ throws herself to the ground. A jackhammer topples and triggers. The noise causes Peter to wince and scream. MJ hurries over to the jackhammer. Peter throws himself to the ceiling and convulses in pain. MJ grabs a wrench from the floor and brings it down on the jackhammer. She looks up at Peter on the ceiling. He drops to the floor on his side. MJ crawls toward him. Bring your gun! Apprehensively. You can't be too careful with this alien thing. She slowly reaches out toward him. And I know you're awake because you've been screaming your head off. The symbiote around Peter's head. And even if you haven't been screaming your head off. His eyes are shut. MJ stares at him fretfully. Miles spins and slams a fist into a hunter's face, then dodges and throws him sideways. Even if it's the suit, how would he stay asleep? Look at this down and go. Any updates, MJ? The suit literally on his body. Freaking like that. Is doing that none of them are fucked up things going on here. We're making a lot of noise. Police are here soon. He's at fear. Just fine. Just giving y'all a heads up, you're gonna have an audience when you lose in a minute. Ah, bitch. Okay, that dialogue is actually a little accidentally racist. That was this the concert coming in. And get a criminal at his skin if he's afraid. worker waves urgently from a collapsing crane. Help! Miles webs a hunter to the ground that knocks out two others. He leaps off a rail and right here. himself to the rotating crane. Miles watches as the worker hurdles helpless toward the ground. Miles zips down, grabs the worker, and clings to a railing safely. The crane explodes behind him. Miles is spider sense. The worker jabs him with a syringe. Wait. Possible. Miles loosens his grip. You're welcome. He drops from the railing and lands on a street below before the collapsed tunnel. He lifts his head weakly, but succumbs to unconsciousness. Craven Fuck. lands on the street and peers down at Miles. Hunters drop beside their leader, and a gunship aims at the rubble blocking the tunnel. Open it! In the tunnel. Wake up. 
Wake up! MJ shakes him. She spots her stun gun on its side on the ground and picks it up. Apologize later. She activates it and presses it to Peter's neck. Peter convulses and turns to his side. MJ scoots back, then peers at him closely as rope-like tendrils of symbiote slither across his back like black snakes. MJ. Symbiote covers his face, his eyes narrow. He stares into MJ's terrified oh, eyes, then launches tendrils at him. MJ dodges and okay. scurries to her feet. I wasn't trying to hurt you! Peter Symbio Tendril sees MJ. She stuns him and breaks free from his grasp. MJ vaults a barricade. Peter leaps over her and crashes through support beams. MJ hurdles Peter Symbio Tendrils. Oh shit, it's automatically gone. MJ slides under a girder and shuffles to her feet. She glances at a distracted Peter and hurries through an open door to hide. I need the aggressive floor and peers through the open doorway. MJ is out of sight with her back pressed to a wall. He hurries away, heading toward the tunnel's exit. Hope you get us better than I did, Miles. Outside the tunnel. No. We search the whole tunnel. Hunters approach Craven. He is gone. For now. Craven looks over at Miles, who is sprawled out and unconscious. <laughs> but he will come to me soon enough. A meteor is in a black dreamscape. Ink-colored symbiote expands in a straight line up from the meteor. Lively appendages expand in all directions with surfaces of viscous flowing blackness. They wrap tightly around the meteor. Now Peter awakens on a bench outside in black clothing. He opens his eyes, then slowly sits up. He looks around the crowded sidewalk as people go about their hurried business. Peter takes his phone out of his pocket, then sits on the head of the bench. His screen is filled with notifications from MJ and Rio, a text from Harry. Come, Come to my to place my when you get, you get this. Peter saunters, Peter saunters away from the bench, bench moving along the sidewalk. sidewalk. How did I end up sleeping on a park bench? And why does it feel like I had the best sleep of my life? Weird dreams, though. Harry left another message. I really need that suit back. Dad's working on a new cure, but I don't know. Bring it back. Please. I wonder if Harry really needs the suit. I mean, if I keep it, the city's a better place. Everyone benefits. Everybody wins when Spider-Man's at his best, right? And Norman's a smart guy. I'm sure he'll figure out a different cure for Harry. Steve's one of grief. Denial. 